right, well, let's jump into the first video for the week. I hope you had a good weekend and a good Lord's Day on Sunday. I definitely did, although I, I was, <laughs> this is kind of funny, I was actually visiting a church on Sunday because uh, there was some weather here on Saturday night and I couldn't drive the hour to my church, so I visited a local church and just so happened that this Baptist uh, church was teaching about why Presbyterians are wrong about baptism, so I sat through a sermon um, about why we were wrong, although I left even more a Presbyterian than I was before. The points, in my opinion, were meh. But in any case, um, I wanted to make a quick announcement. So a couple weeks ago, I told you that I was think I've been thinking about leaving YouTube for a little bit, and uh, I solicited some ad ad advice and opinions on where I should go and things like that. And um, I had pretty much decided that I was going to try out another site and then you know kind of see what happens with YouTube and things like that. Well, since then, I had a video that was censored, pulled completely. And it was the video that I did about the fake insurrection and my thoughts on the fake insurrection. And YouTube thought that was too dangerous, too, too much misinformation in that video. And you can trust YouTube because they know what's true. Anyway, so they took it down. I appealed it. And in my appeal, I said, you're a bunch of racists because I thought maybe that would work. But it didn't. They rejected my appeal and all of that. And so I have decided what I'm going to do. And so what I'm going to do, I opened up a Rumble account and an Odyssey account. And I'm going to start posting to those more regularly. And my intention is to taper uh, my YouTube usage um, throughout the year. And then by the end of the year, maybe just abandon it completely. Now, hopefully this is an actual taper, unlike the one that Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve Chairman, is pr pretending that he's going to do with, uh, with his asset purchases and all that. So I'm going to taper. Hopefully not the Jerome Powell st uh, way, but, uh, but that's my plan. So you'll start to see me upload to YouTube less and less and less and less. And I'm going to be uh, uploading to Odyssey and Rumble more and more and more. And I'm not sure if I'll stick with both of them. Um, we'll tr maybe I'll probably pick one, most likely. But we'll see what happens uh, with that. That's the plan right now. Um, but So for the time being, I'm staying on YouTube. But I'm going to start to taper um, my, uh, my YouTube use. In any case... Also, I saw something that's that that I guess that um, they're limiting the viewership of new channels. Like if you if they if they say they don't know you well enough, like they don't trust you, um, you're not allowed to, to to watch videos from people like that. I allegedly I saw some people that were covering this trucker thingamajig, uh, and they got uh, kicked off not because they were breaking any rules, but because YouTube was just like, yeah, we don't know you. So uh, I guess YouTube is. Uh, YouTube is getting worse and worse, and so, I don't know, I mean, maybe I won't taper. Maybe I'll just get kicked off, because I'm obviously not going to change my opinions on things, right? The insurrection was definitely still fake, you know what I mean? Like, just because YouTube wants me to stop talking about it, I'm not going to stop. So, I'm going to continue to do what I do, and we will take it from there. I did want to draw attention to this article from The Daily Wire, Megan Basham. Megan Basham, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, Megan, I apologize. She has written an excellent article titled How the Federal Government Used Evangelical Leaders to Spread COVID Propaganda to Churches. This is a good article. Now, I've been talking about this exact thing since the beginning of COVID. It, it struck me that, 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 you know, we have evidence, we have documentation that the, that the CIA and the FBI have used churches to spread information that they want to, to spread. I mean, they've admitted this and things like that. Now, I have no documentation that that's happened here. However, very clear examples of uh, evangelical leaders, Christian pastors, she even names Gospel Coalition, you know, Ed Stetzer, all the usual suspects on how they're spreading all kinds of government propaganda about COVID regarding masking, regarding vaccines, regarding all kinds of stuff. And 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 evangelical leaders have like dutiful little servants, just bootlickers, these guys, a lot of them, have just spread whatever lies that they wanted that they wanted them to spread. And and these lies are becoming more apparent every day. Like there's more and more research about how masks don't do anything. Masks don't do anything. And yet Evangelical leaders who you trusted told you that actually wearing a mask is a matter of the law of God. Loving your neighbor as yourself to put a stupid thing on your face that doesn't do anything because Caesar told you to. You know, vaccines, you know, it's it's amazing to me. I mean, because, you know, two years ago, 
we understood what a vaccine was for. A vaccine was to prevent uh, infection, was to prevent you spreading the infection and things like that. And I remember saying at the time, I'm not going to get the vaccine because, you know, I'm not scared of COVID and number one and number two, you know, they kind of did a rush job on this vaccine. So I'm really not interested in being the guinea pig and all, all that kind of thing. That's what I said. Uh, but then over time, it became very apparent that these vaccines don't do anything like they don't prevent you from getting COVID. They don't prevent you from spreading COVID. I mean, I, I, I've known a lot more people this year that have gotten COVID than I did last year. I mean, the, the first year of COVID, I, I knew barely anybody who ever had it. But I know a lot more people who had it this year. And it's like 70, 80 percent of the people that I know who've had COVID this year we're vaccinated and boosted. It just doesn't stop you from getting the disease. And now they're like, oh, well, well, no, vaccines actually don't stop you from getting the disease. They just stop you from getting it very seriously. Well, that's I know you're changing the rules and stuff there, all that stuff. Anyway, the bottom line is this is all because the lot, the propaganda, which I just assumed was not true. Uh, at the time, and I had evidence for some of the reasons why it wasn't true. Um, it's actually turning out that it's the data that comes in, it's just more and more, it's not true. None of the propaganda was true. And yet, your evangelical leaders told you it's a matter of loving your neighbor as yourself. The law of God, they added to the law of God like Pharisees did, and they did it in service of the king. Interestingly enough, also like Pharisees did, because if you remember at the, at the kind of like the, um, the uh, the climax of the Pharisees' evilness when they say, what do they say? We have no king but Caesar. We have no king but Caesar. That's the height of the story of how evil the Pharisees were, right? We have no king but Caesar. So they were adding to the law of God, and they served and loved and honored and respected and obeyed Caesar as Lord as they crucified the actual Lord of glory, Jesus Christ. And so very similar to Pharisees, the modern day Pharisees, the social justice Pharisees, but it goes beyond social justice. I mean, it's just government propaganda Pharisees. Anything the government is up to and pushing and promoting, the, 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 these evangelical leaders are doing the same thing. Oh, Joe, Joe Biden, I'm going to nominate a black woman. And, and that's my criteria. Just because you're black, just because you're a woman, two things that you actually didn't earn. And I'm gonna, that's my criteria. I mean, it's just ridiculous, but whatever. Not my deal, not my deal. Evangelical leaders are all about it. Of course, that's how you gotta divest of power and you've gotta, you know, elevate black voices. You know, they're all over. Whatever the government's promoting, evangelical leaders are all over it. So they're just like, the Pharisees, but you know this is this is a good article. I'm very glad that this is getting a lot more attention uh, than it was back when we were in the middle of it. You know, we could have, we all could have seen that this was government propaganda in the churches, masquerading as the law of God um, at the time. But it's okay if you're late to the party. It's good because you can actually do something about this, right? Because you can't stop Ed Stetzer from bowing to the federal government, right? You can't stop the Gospel Coalition from 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 lying to you. This is this is what you remember what they told us. They said that if you if you think that this virus came from Wuhan lab, then you're a conspiracy theorist, and that must mean you serve Satan. Do you remember who was that that said that? Joe Carter said that. If you if you believe the Wuhan virus thing, you're a you're a satanic uh, conspiracy theorist. It's all coming out now, guys. That, that's where it came from. It came from the Wuhan lab, just like we all knew, right? But you'll never get the apology. You'll never get the I'm sorry. You'll never get the mea culpa because at the end of the day, they did the right thing according to their system. They worship and serve the federal government. That's what the Gospel Coalition does. That's what Ed Stetzer does. And so they're going to continue to do that because that's what they think is moral. That's what they, that's morally good to them. They're going to keep doing it. But you can actually do something about this because guess what? You don't have to listen to them. You know what I mean? You don't have to listen to them. In fact, you can actually laugh at them and mock them mercilessly as they serve their 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 pathetic idol of the federal government i mean joe biden i mean it, it, it could not be funnier that they worship and serve joe biden and camelia cornelia whatever her name is coretta harris coretta harris and then whoever the black woman uh supreme court nominee that you know gospel coalition's gonna be like oh my goodness this is the this is the greatest thing ever and there's gonna be work because they worship black people as well and so 
they're going to do all that. And, and you know, you don't actually have to go to their website. You don't have to read their articles. You don't have to buy their books. You don't have to get their DVD set so you can learn how to be just as good as they are. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You could actually just not pay attention to them. Or if, you know, if you want to level up a little bit, you can just mock them because it's so pathetic. The way Elijah mocked the, uh, the prophets of, of, of Baal, they're cutting themselves. Oh, please speak to us, Baal. They're like, they're, they're offing themselves. And, and Elijah's like, yeah, you know, maybe you should cut yourself a little more. Maybe you should scream a little louder. I mean, he can't hear you. He's on the toilet. That's what we should do. When, there, when Ed Stetzer gets all uppity and he's, he's all, he's, 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 he's shivering with rage and, and his buddy Russell Moore, they can't believe it, that, that Christians are so stupid that they didn't get the vaccine. They're so dumb. They, didn't, they don't wear masks. It's just so, totally evil. You can laugh at them because they're serving their God right there. They're serving their God. And it's hilarious. And it's pathetic. So you could either ignore them or laugh at them. Either way, though, you can do something about this. You see, one of the things that I, I love about this time, there's a lot of uh, anxiety out there, let's say. You know, we got financial crisis maybe brewing. We've got lots of stuff that's happening. And, and I can understand, you know, if your church is heavy in the Big Eva mindset and, and the Big Eva influence, it's going to be painful to kind of move yourself. I'm not, I don't want to take anything away from that, right? There's a lot of anxiety out there. There's churches splitting over uh, the racist stuff and things like that. Um, but what's good about this, though, is that there's never been an easier time to find like-minded people. There's never been an easier time to find like-minded businesses to buy from. Um, there's never been an easier time to, identi to, to, to identify those who you can trust because the ones that you can't trust, they're outing themselves. Like we don't have to, you know, do digging to find this. Like this, I'm sure Megan did a lot of research for this article. I'm not taking anything away from her. But this stuff, Ed Stetzer is happy to show you how much he worships the state. You know, Russell Moore is happy to, to, to venerate uh, Francis Collins. Like, like they're happy to, to show you how giddy they are to meet Barack Obama. Like they put it all out there. And it's very easy to identify them. It's very easy to identify them. And it's also likewise easy to identify those who have not bowed the knee to bail. They're all over the place. I think a very good way to do it is to go to Gab and see the businesses that advertise on Gab. There's some, there's some awesome businesses out here, regardless of what you want to buy. There's all kinds of stuff available here. Uh, Torba calls it the parallel economy. You want to find some companies that you can trust, companies that, that, that aren't going to... Um, use the money you give them against you. Um, Gab.com is a good place for that kind of thing. And, and, and likewise, the, the, the Christians and the, and, the, and the brethren that you can fellowship with, it's never been easier to find them because we're just the ones that aren't going along with every whim of the government. Now, does that mean we have a purity test that you have to agree with me on everything regarding COVID? No, it does not. No, it does not. But, but the ones that aren't going along with everything without thinking about it, it's just like, oh my goodness, this is the, the deadliest disease ever. What's the death rate? Well, we don't know because we don't know how many people have it. It's like, eh, that's, I don't know about that. That doesn't sound, that doesn't, that doesn't pass the sniff test, right? Like you can find those who are, who are willing to not uh, bow the knee because we actually ask questions. We actually wait before when we see the, the, the latest fake insurrection or the fake false flag, you know, whatever. Um, we go, yeah, that, uh, you know, well, let's wait and see what, what's actually happened here before we start quivering with rage. And he, he, he went into the halls of democracy, the sacred place. Like, it's easy to find people that aren't slaves to the narrative. That's the point. It's not about exactly where you fall on vaccines or masks. You know what I mean? That's really not it. But but it's easy to find those who aren't just enslaved to whatever the flavor of the day is, right? Because people that were even pro-vaccine, they're waking up too. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to get that booster because it doesn't really seem to work. Like everyone who gets it gets sick. And they're like, oh, I did the vax. I believed in the vax, but I'm not getting the booster. See, that's a person that's not a slave to the narrative, right? The slaves to the narrative are the ones that no matter what is being said at the time, they're just going to say it. No matter what, even if it's a contradiction to what they said before, they're just going to say it. It's never been easier to not to find people that are not slaves to the narrative. And I think we ought to thank God for that because we're going to be stronger because of that. We're going to those, those of us who are still, you know, slaves to what Ed Stetzer has to say or Gospel Coalition, you guys are in for a world of hurt. 
Like if your view of what 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 faithful Christianity is is basically whatever you know Gospel Coalition says or whatever uh, Ed Stetzer says, like you guys are in for a, a lot of pain. I would suggest jumping off their train because that train isn't going nowhere good, nowhere good at all. Anyway, so I guess that's really all I have to say. I hope you found this video helpful. God bless.